Grand Hill, friends. I've been kind of wanting to do this for a long time, and now we have the opportunity. I want to put the stove in the Lavoo shelter. <laughs> One problem. There's no stove jack. Easy fix. I have a stove jack. This is a little guy, full leaves, <laughs> I use for my teepee. Basically, uh, what I did is I took it, put it at the very top where the hole was. Then I took some baling wire and attached it to the poles so it wouldn't uh, shake or come loose or anything like that. It's simple. All it is, it's just a piece of pipe. Uh, this is ducting pipe for an HVAC system. I cut it down and then I just zapped some uh, ta or, uh, all threads in it to hold it into place. And this should work with the Labu theoretically. Let's find out. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. Okay, <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, I'm a little I'm a little excited about this whole situation. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this ever since I bought the tent originally. And now I finally get the chance to do it. I just pull everything out of the stove, which you think I would have done. I fired the cameras up. Oh, of course not. Oh, helps we flip it up. Great over. Now I did remove all the leaves on the inside of the tent where the stove is going to sit, just to be safe. The question is, it's going to work. Okay, we're going to have to put the damper or the flue on the top. Let's see, is this the right pipe? Yes. Come on. Nope, not gonna work. One thing I did realize with these pipes, they do change their shape a little bit. Not a big deal though. That one's gonna work. I'm thinking. Right about there. Looks good. We'll have to put another piece of pipe on. Is this the one I want? No. We need to put the dampener up here. Which I'm not gonna we might not be able to use the dampener. It's a little concerning. Okay. Now to get this to work, it's real simple. We just slide it down over the top of the pipe and I tighten it up until it holds it in place. Let's see how we are. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm going to do the top first. Come in and do the bottom. <laughs> the goal is to get <laughs> the pipe centered. Take a look, see in there, and see what we got. That's not bad, actually. That's gonna work out perfectly, friends. I'm 
Yeah, that's gonna fly. Okay. Now we just gotta put the rest of the pipe on her. This ought to be interesting because now the uh, dampener is up a lot higher. I don't know if that's going to have an effect on things or not. We'll see. Oh. Okay. Believe it or not, there is a top to these. Oh, there it is. Right. That does not need to be that high. Not at all. Take it down a notch. Yep, that's going to fly. If you look at the top, here's the rain cap I made for it. And I recently put on some tie outs, which are going to come in real handy today because we're starting to get a strong wind out of the, uh, let's see. Uh, I would say about the east coming across here so let's go ahead and get that tied out and I have just a thing for it over here okay basically all I did is put some little tabs on there zap the hole in it and put these little clips on then pull this clip our 550 on here and we'll stretch it out and stick it down into the ground
Now, as you can see, these are not very tight. You don't need to torque them down. You just need to hold the pipe in place during a high wind, which I have a feeling we're gonna get today. Uh, but yeah, it's she's not going nowhere. We've got her stake down there. And here, and of course in the back. Uh, can you see it? Oh, 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 where are you? <laughs> we gotta get closer. Right there. Definitely not tight at all, but taut enough to keep the stove pipe from blowing over. Next, we need to find some firewood. It's time to fire the stove up. And as usual, uh oh, didn't just go. We're gonna use my trusty egg drop fire starter. Best fire starter in the world. <laughs> Little nervous because I really love this shelter and I don't want to catch it on fire, especially because spring is on the way. There we go, set the net up. Ooh. Pretty sure that fire starter has some dog hair in it. <clears throat> yeah, it, it does. It smells nice and pleasant. There we go. Let's see what we got. Quick bob tip small pieces to get it started, the large round pieces such as this one, to keep it burning all night. You just want them to smolder. <laughs> Let's see, can we fit any more in there? Yeah. I think we're good. It's been about 30 minutes and I'm still getting quite a Bit of smoke coming out at the top, and I think this is some dirty wood. Dirty, dirty wood, giggity. <laughs> As you can see, we're getting a lot of creosote popping out of the pipe, which means when it's time to take it apart, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Having a dampener up here, honestly hasn't really affected anything like I thought it would. Let's take a look inside the stove and see what's going on. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, we can put some more wood in there, actually. It is freaking hot inside this tent. I'm gonna have to clean that glass soon, it looks like. I wish I had a temperature gauge with me and we could figure it out. Uh, cool to the touch all the way around. Oh, I'm gonna show you something. This is a trick I learned with the teepee. Sometimes this pipe, which is not hot at all, will get a little warm and by having these two wood blocks here, it keeps it from burning the uh, fabric let's see how we're doing over here not bad all right let's startle this little guy down i don't know if i'm going to need a spark arrestor or not because i haven't seen any sparks come out of there and it is freaking windy i've had some pretty good wind gusts a little warm here warm right there and there not bad there uh oh so I screwed up a lot of it. There we go. Hang on, let me get that smoke out. Okay. There we go. Right about there should do it. It is hot in here. <laughs> I am not even kidding. A little warm. Not bad. I'm happy. Oh, we got some heat there. 
Not too bad. Oh, oh, had a little flashback. Not too bad there. I mean, it's hot, but safe. So what's happening is the air is getting sucked up and being pulled up and cooling this pipe down so it doesn't burn the tent. I'm, I'm very happy. I think I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. <laughs> Like I said, I've been wanting to do this a long time. I would say the tie outs are working great. Every time I get hit by a really heavy wind gust, it just wiggles a little bit and not bad at all. Yeah, I'm very happy with this setup. Well, friends, comments are always welcome. It will take me a while to, to answer them. You already know that. Yeah, And you know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day? I'm gonna put the thermal rest in here and I'm gonna take a freaking nap. Like always, friends, thanks for watching.